Blaster fans, I am super excited to be here today with an amazing cast from Lost in Space. 83 episodes, 50 years. Uh, I am joined by Bill Moomy, Angela Cartwright, Marta Kristen, Hello. and Mark Goddard. Oh, you got it. I did. I got it all. I got it all. I, I'm, I'm excited. Welcome to Comic Con, guys. Yeah. So let me ask, as you guys were rec recording and putting together this uh, massive Blu-ray box set of Lost in Space, what was something that maybe you forgot about entirely, a memory, a story, an anecdote that came flooding back to you as you're doing commentaries and looking at that? Well, there's a lot of bonus material besides the fact that the shows are restored to their pristine condition and they look fantastic. And they sound fantastic. John Williams was, you know, composing mm -hmm. our scores and stuff. But uh, there was a script that I had written in 1980 uh, the epilogue that was written to resolve the show and uh, it's laid dormant for 35 years and we did a cast performance of that script. It's a pretty cool bonus little exclamation point on the whole project. Yeah. Yes. Mark and I what? Kiss? Oh my God! We, for the we first never kissed. Time. For the first time. We did. Oh no! I thought you meant in the show. No, no, no. Oh no, no. No, I, all, I, I kissed I, her like this on the show. Yeah. Oh. And she got pregnant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fans always ask, why didn't you and Mark ever the major west? Where it came from? <laughs> <laughs> this is so salacious. We're gonna need an, a parental advisory on yeah, this interview. Yes. That's no. All right. That's uh, good. Uh, maybe this should be a surprise. Forget it. <laughs> my lips are sealed. Ne yeah, I never I again. Don't know. Well, oh, when we watched the episodes, we also did commentary uh, to the old shows. Uh, yeah. And eight, that was eight hours like, of oh my God, that was so, uh, the things, the memories that came back were yeah. quite amazing. That's or cool. the things we saw from a fresh perspective <laughs> yes. that were incredibly phallic and ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> again, parental advisory on the, oh, yeah. this is a kid's show. Wow. Must, uh, must in space. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, what are you most excited for fans out there to see when they pick up this Blu-ray uh, box set? Oh, for me, just to see the shows again in such a great condition. I mean, it took my breath away when I saw the color, mm -hmm. second uh, season. Oh, my God. It, the costumes just pop, and every detail is shown. It's it's really something else. Right. It's that mid-'60s pop art period where things yeah. were just brighter than reality, and when you see them in this pristine condition, it's like... It's pretty mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. What I love most about it is that I look 10 years younger than I, I was, and I was only 18 when I did it. <laughs> so, yeah, what, Mark was only in the reruns. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What I loved is uh, was the table reading. Right. I, it was so, yeah. it felt so uh, uh, right for it some reason. I mean, that we all were there, and it began to, I, I, all the memories flooded back about doing the show and right. being with being with my other family. Well, I'm going to let you guys go in a second, but you know, we're at San Diego Comic-Con. This is a big deal, a mainstream, massive pop culture event. Are you finding that Lost in Space is really connecting with this new generation, this fresh generation that are here uh, excited about sci-fi and superheroes? Are they excited about Lost in Space all over again, this no. younger? No. No. <laughs> no. Actually, a lot of the parents have yeah. shown. You, a lot of the par no, it's not true. A lot of the parents have are shown. Are you serious? Showing their, <laughs> showing no, their I, children I, the, I, the show, and and the kids now come to our table and go, oh my goodness, oh yeah, I love your show, but they think it's fun more yeah. than you know. I mean, it's sort of silly compared to what is available now, you know, technologically. The of a group, a family, yeah, you know playing around in, in lost space where you can do anything and encounter anything, it's never going to get old. Yeah, and most certainly connecting to a, a you know, young protagonist as well. Kids can get into that, right? Yeah. Captured the imagination then, and I think there's a whole new generation. That Kids and robots, the they're here to stay. Kids and so. robots. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that you guys came to San Diego Comic Con, yeah, and uh, I'm going to let you guys go, because I know there's a lot of nerds out there that yeah, want to say hi to you. Yeah. Oh, he Okay. It, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank Thanks. You.